Ever wondered how some guitar players make their chords sound amazing? And then you go to play your C chord and it just doesn't sound right. Well, in this video I'm going to share with you 7 tips on how to make your chords sound cleaner and better. Hey, I'm Chris Estelli, professional musician and guitar teacher helping you improve your musical ability. On this channel I share tips and tricks on how to play the guitar, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. There are two main reasons why your chords might not sound the way you want them to. Either you're muting the strings with your fingers, kind of like this. That's good. And then, oh, here, that's the finger muting it, right? Finger, the lower part of it, muting that string. Or you're just not uh, pressing the strings properly, right? So maybe you're not hard enough, right? Or you just like don't put it in the right spot or you know some of those by applying the seven tips you probably will be able to actually just play it right so let's get into it tip number one is make sure that you put your thumb on the back of the second fret straight okay so this is what i mean by this we want the thumb to be right here on the back of the second fret and then straight okay so you don't want this happening, you don't want this happening, or even this, okay? So that, that's not straight, okay? That's like, you're gonna tense up and you're not gonna be able to play right. So you want it straight on the back of the second fret. It can be higher or lower, it's up to you, but as long as it's straight on the back of the second fret. Tip number two, we want to make sure that our nails are short, okay? So you want short nails to play guitar. Some people can play with long nails, I don't know how they do it. You want short nails and make sure that you use the tip of the fingers, okay? So what I mean by that is the tip right here where the bone is. You don't want it to be like too high right there or too low right here, okay? Make sure it's the very tip where the bone is and that's the perfect spot. Tip number three is put your fingers towards the end of the frets. Okay, so here this is the beginning of the fret, for example. And you see, like, if I don't press hard enough, it's not gonna ring right, right? But, like, I'm applying the same pressure towards the end of the fret. Oh, it's ringing. So that's pretty awesome, right? So it's gonna make it much easier to play if you put your fingers towards the end of the frets. Tip number four is make sure that you curve your fingers, okay? So those fingers need to be curved, kind of like this, okay? So like, really as much as you can, it's gonna hurt actually probably a little bit if you just try it as hard as you can. But really, a good rule of thumb is to have your knuckles be higher than the string that you're playing. Okay, so you're curving them like this. You don't want them to be collapsed this way, okay? That, that, that's just bad, that's gonna, that's gonna just gonna make it sound bad, okay? So make sure you curve those fingers. Tip number five. So once we have all these good things in place, we wanna make sure that we actually press hard, okay? And especially if you're just beginning, it's gonna seem like you're pressing really, really hard. Um, later on, not so much, but really, you gotta, you gotta press it, okay? And it's gonna hurt, but you gotta go through it, you gotta be tough and eventually it won't hurt anymore, okay? So, press hard. Tip number six. Tip number six is actually to keep your wrist in a neutral position. So what I mean by this is, make sure that your wrist is kind of like that, okay? You don't want it to be like too backward, because if not, that's gonna mute your strings and it's gonna be just overall hard to play. And too forward is just gonna like, be uncomfortable, probably you won't be able to press the strings hard, although you, you probably won't mute any strings. But you want it to be in a neutral position, which is like a balance point, okay? So, kind of like this. And tip number seven, last but not least, is that you need to build muscle memory, okay? So, it's not too hard to just play the chords like properly once we know all of this. Um, you know, we just sit down and focus on it real hard and be like, okay, I got everything down perfect. Wrist in position, fingers in position and everything. Here we go, we got a beautiful chord. But what's hard is actually do it consistently. 
okay, while you're switching chords, while you're playing songs. Um, so what we need to do for this is train our fingers to remember the right way to do it. So I like to use this exercise that I like to call extend and put it back. And it goes like this, you play your chord, it's sounding nice, then you extend your fingers all the way through, okay, you don't, you don't want to cheat, and then you put it back right there in the same spot, okay? What's going to happen probably is this, you're going to play back and, oh, it's going to be tricky, whatever problem you had before is going to come back, and then you're just like, okay, so what am I doing wrong? I need to put my wrist more in a neutral position, my fingers towards the end of the frets, press hard, uh, make sure my fingers are curved, um, tip of the fingers, you know, all of those. And here we go. Now it sounds amazing again. Now let's extend and put it back again and go over and over through that process for all of your chords, okay? That's really gonna help you out when you go to play songs. So let me know what you thought about those seven tips. Are you using them yourself? Um, you know, maybe unconsciously. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and I will see you on the next one.